Shadow of the Tomb Raider was only released about a month ago and it's already on sale in the digital store. This is great news for gamers. That is, unless you're a loyal fan who bought Tomb Raider when it first came out. I haven't bought Shadow of the Tomb Raider yet, even though I really enjoy the first two Tomb Raiders. This one, for some reason, I can't really explain, it just didn't grab me. Maybe it was that it looked like more of the same. So I decided to wait. I figured Square Enix might drop the price come Christmas, you know, to get those extra sales. And especially since other high profile games will be releasing to the market, I thought they would drop the price in order to compete. But I was wrong. They didn't wait till Christmas. Square Enix decided to drop the price of the standard edition by 34% and a special Croft edition by 47%. Obviously this is great news for gamers who waited, but I can definitely understand how those early adopters could be upset. They feel that they're really the loyal fans who were there to support Square Enix on day one. And now Square Enix decides to drop the price. They pretty much feel dipped off. But the more I think about it, it just sounds like backwards thinking to me. It's more likely than not that the sales for Rise of the Tomb Raider have been slowing down dramatically and the only reason it was put on sale is because Square Enix needs to sell more copies. Isn't that something that loyal fans want? More copies of Tomb Raiders being sold? Game publishers are no longer happy with their games breaking even or even making a slight profit. Square Enix's other title, Deus Ex, is a perfect example. Deus Ex Mankind Divided was received well by critics and it sold around 2 million copies, yet that wasn't enough and it was put on the shelf. So we most likely won't get a sequel anytime soon, even though we've gotten reinsurance that a sequel will be worked on. I guess we'll wait and see. Is that what loyal Tomb Raider fans want for Laura? If you're a true fan, then this price drop shouldn't upset you. And maybe it doesn't, good for you. But if it does upset you, then I say you got what you paid for. It's that simple. Paying full price is literally the price you pay for being able to experience this game when it first releases. While everyone else is watching videos on YouTube, watching streams of people playing on Twitch, waiting for it to go on sale, your silly ass is playing the game or should be playing the game. And for those of you who keep buying deluxe, special, or ultimate editions of digital video games that in return give you digital items and then a game drops the price by half a month later, then you deserve to get burned. Stop buying digital special editions, it's stupid. We all know that publishers eventually drop the price of all that crap. Now if you're buying physical special editions, that's a different story, get your collect on. You know, I usually always side with gamers on most consumer issues. I have no trust for corporations, even though I work for one. And when I first started this video, it was my very intention to do so. But after giving it some more thought, those fans who are complaining shouldn't. They have no reason to. Games go on sale. It's that plain and simple.